Quite a lovely ceremony indeed. Now, the inaugural Huduma Day, formerly Moi Day, was characterized by little activity, with a majority of Kenyans unaware of the day or its meaning. There were low-key celebrations across counties and recreational parks remaining largely deserted. Our reporter, Timothy Kipnusu, brings us details of the little festivities in the wake of the pandemic and the lack of awareness among Kenyans on the significance of the public holiday. The promulgation of the constitution in 2010 effectively ended the celebration of Moi Day as a public holiday. A decade later, the day was renamed to Huduma Day, and the Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi on Friday announced the day will be observed as a public holiday. An announcement that will mark the inaugural celebration of a day aimed at ensuring service to the people and advocating for voluntarism. But how many Kenyans are aware of this shift? We sought to find out. Miss Kwana Jua Kamajan Kamale Uliko Duma Day, I just thought Nile to or Idea Kawainda. So like to Neza Sema, me Sioni, our government to deliver the Uduma. The services, the Uduma services are not delivered the way they are supposed to be delivered to the common man. A walk through the streets of Nairobi will further reveal it was business as usual, with many unaware of the day and its significance. A majority of those we spoke to said there was little to celebrate, decrying the high cost of living, unemployment, the burden of the pandemic and what they said was poor service delivery. Uduma, uduma nye hiko, mingi, inelekeza kwa watu walio juu, watu walio chini, wapati uduma sana. Kiangalia saa hii kama hurupak. Vijana wenye masafara ni vengi, bado wajapata ID. So, NOAS hata wakishirikiana nao vijana kufanya kazi, cleaning, na nina kukireni town. Unakuta ware vijana percentage kubwa wapa Nairobi, hawapati kazi. Kuna vile uh, uduma zimebadilika in one way or the other. Though not 100%, but uh, it's in the process. I can say that at least we are somewhere. The Kenya Hospices and Palliative Care Association urging the government to dedicate the day to help families facing challenges associated with life-threatening diseases such as cancer. Today in Kenya we mark Huduma Day and uh, in line with Huduma Day it is also World Hospice and Palliative Care Day. This day is it is a unified day of action where persons living with palliative care needs and people who have been Im impacted by life-limiting conditions uh, get to have their voices heard. They get to air out their voices and our theme for 2020 is My Care, My Comfort. And initial celebrations were held in Garemara area to mark the inaugural Huduma Day. The area leaders called for peaceful coexistence among communities saying the day resonates with the mantra of the late President Moi on the service to the people. Lakini pia tumesema wanasiasa wadumishe amani, umoja na, na upendo kama vile mze Moi alikuwa natuelezea. Kwa hivyo leo nisikue upendo na amani na ya huduma kwa wananchi na pia tumeleta chakula kidogo, tu, tushe na wananchi wa isiolo. Moi alikuwa mpanya kasi, eh, odari. Yeye alikuwa, alikuwa mpanya kasi number one. Sentiments that were repeated across counties during Huduma Day celebrations with calls for unity and cohesion. But as the country marked the inaugural Huduma Day, the government has a lot more civic education to undertake to enlighten Kenyans on the day and its relevance in offering service and developing a culture of volunteering. Timothy Kipnusu for Channel 1 News.